Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Lossi and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit an outdoor portrait from this to this. So, let's get started. Okay, this is the picture. We're gonna edit. You can see. Uh, at first, I have to increase the background and then uh, I'll do some color grade and uh, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, to increase the blur of the background, you need to select the subject and the background first. For this, you can use any selection tool. Uh, I'm gonna use the most easiest one. Select any uh, selection tool from here, from the toolbar, and you will find an option called select subject. Okay. Uh, just click on this arrow and you will find two options device that is a quicker result and another one is cloud detailed result so for more precise result you should select the cloud option and it really works believe me it really <laughs> works so select on the cloud option uh, and then just click on the select subset option and then photoshop will do the rest you just wait and see Okay, I think it's done. It's very quick and Okay That's fine. I think it's done. Uh, let's click on the select and mask option Okay, and you can see Here more accurately look at this You can just select uh, on the refine edge brush tool and here refine mood color hour and just paint on the edge of the hair I think Photoshop has done a great job here uh, it's actually it's looking good to me okay done then output to new layer with layer mask press ok so it's done this is your subject okay uh, make a copy of the background layer by pressing command and Z good now select the subject by pressing and hold command option and click on the mask okay that's fine hide the okay let's rename it to subject and let's rename it to background background blur okay now hide the subject layer come into the background blur layer and then go to the select option modify and expand it to around uh, 30 pixel that's fine okay now right click on the mouse and select on the content hour fill option okay that's done now select the output layer current layer here and now press okay that's done press command and d to deselect so this is your background and this is your subject right that's very good now select the background blur and turn it to smart object that's fine now we will apply the blur in this layer so for this go to the filter option then blur gallery and select the tilt shift blur okay now bring it down increase the blur value that's fine okay uh, there is another option bokeh effect uh, you can find this option under the effect so we can apply the bokeh effect here also so we'll apply that zoom out a little and okay that's fine i think this is looking right okay now come into the bokeh option so increase the light bokeh value here and you can see now uh, there is an option called light range one is for dark area and one is for the uh, bright area so let's see i think this is too much i think it's looking good you can see here look at this I think this is fine this is looking good to me okay it's done so press okay here so this is your 
backgrounds and now just active the subject layers this is your subject it's looking really good it's looking perfect so the blur background is done and it's looking good now we want to apply the color red for this we want to create a new layer by pressing command and option and shift and e to make all this layer into a single one layer so this is the layer and let's make it uh, a smart object and i have to color grade in the camera raw so go to the filter and camera raw okay let's start with the basic and i want to decrease the exposure a little so here i am uh, decreasing the i think minus uh, 0 0.3 is looking good and i increase the contrast around 25 that's fine and to bring the highlights down to minus 100 that's good and then uh, i want to bring the shadow okay that's fine and to increase the white a little and black to around minus 25 i think that's fine okay let's uh increase the texture just a little plus five i think that's fine and increase the vibrance to around 20 22 so you can see the difference this was the before and this is after it looks nice but not finished yet go to the curves option and let's do it i think i want to bring it down a little bit that's fine then i want to make another point here that's good okay let's see this was the before and this after i think it's a little bit uh, more contrast free look by using the curves that's fine now in the detail option i want to add a little bit sharpness here around 40 percent that's fine noise reduction around six it's to ten i think ten is fine no problem that's good okay then come into the color mixer option and come into the hue okay let's play with the red and i think i should leave the red and orange for this i'm going with around minus 13 that's good okay and for the yellow i want to increase uh sorry green okay let's try with try with this look my plus 52 for green that's fine and for the aquas i think around 60 okay that's fine and look at this rays and i love this color this one is looking good to me uh, so i'm going with minus 30 that's good come to the saturation here and if you think it's too much saturated too much orangey you can decrease the orange from here to just a little i'm going with minus six that's fine and then minus 10 for yellow that's fine and to decrease the green too so that's good then minus 55 for aquas and for blues i am going with around 20 25 to 30 that's good come to the luminance here and to increase uh, the orange luminance of the orange here that means the brightness of the orange luminance means brightness of the color that's good and also for the yellow and i need to decrease the brightness of the green look at this the difference so here i'm going with minus 25 to 26 and then it was for it was plus 50 that's okay plus 15 for blue so look at the difference this was the before and this is after it looks it looks fine to me okay now i'm coming to the color grade option and click on the shadows and here i want to apply a little bit 
uh, re, uh, bluish color here so I think this color and saturation I should decrease the saturation a little bit so here I'm going with plus 11 uh, blending 100% balance around 20% that's fine uh, then come into the highlights option and in the highlights I want to apply a reddish or orange -ish, maybe a little orange -ish, greenish color here so I'm going with 57 and increase the saturation around plus 5 just a little so this was the before and this is the very little change here okay that's fine uh, now come into the geometry option and I'm going with the auto then come into the effect uh, you can apply some uh, vignette here around uh, 25 is fine to me uh, then uh, increase the feather value around 65% and the highlights around 40% that's fine look at this this was the before and this is after that's fine and then come into the camera calibration option and I want to okay let's try with this minus 5 for hue in case of red primary and decrease it to around 15 that's fine and for the green primary and to increase it so I'm going with plus 7 and plus 9 for this and for this I just want to increase the saturation of the blue primary that's it around 35 I think it's looking good so this was the before and this is after it looks it looks colorful right now so press Q to see the before and after right now and look at this look at the difference you can see it you can feel it it's really colorful and vibrant right now okay so press okay when you are done so that's it this was the before and this is after okay as it is a smart object you can just double click on the layer and you can go back to the camera row and you can change anything again okay that's good now i want to add a light here so for this you can create a new layer and uh, put some color and change the blending mode to screen you can try this but i want to add a light uh, from my stock like I want this picture and change the blending mode to screen to hide the black okay and I just want to put it there that's very easy and I think it looks really really good look at this it's really going with the picture that's fine that's looking really good okay you can change uh, the hue of the light too press common and U for the hue and saturation option and just change it like this look at this you can go what you like it looks really really beautiful i think i'm going with little bit orange look here around minus five maybe look at this it looks nice to me okay that's fine okay i think this area should be more darker okay so for this let's create a new layer uh, pick a soft black color brush and you just paint like this okay and since the blending mode to soft light I think this is too much right this is this is really really too much okay uh decrease the opacity around 20 percent maybe that's too much yeah 20 percent looks good to me but this area is too much no problem create a mask here and then you know the rules to hide something in the mask just you need to paint with the black color look at this Yeah, the road is just in front of my room. So this is it. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. It's a very little changes, but it's very important, I think. You can easily 
paint here and there and see how it looks so this was the before and this is after okay so that's it the color grading uh, and the background editing is done i think i should apply some uh, shine on the face if you want a full tutorial about the adding shine effect you can check this tutorial and you will get the idea so i am using okay let's create a curves here and okay that's fine now just double click on the right portion of the layer and you will find a blending option layer coming to the underlying layer Okay, press and hold option or all key and click on this triangle to split and now just make a smooth shine. That's looking good. I think it's fine. So press OK. Okay, uh, click on the mask and press common and the I. Press B to select the soft white brush and just paint on the uh, skin or where you want to add shine okay that's good now look at this this was the before and this is after look at the face this is the before and this is after it creates a dimension here it creates a depth here that's why i love this option so i think it's done it's it's done it's looking good let's see the before and after of look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really good i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe